What's up guys? So, got a quick one for you. We're gonna do a uh, tools in use on the new Mighty Vac tool that I got for the brake, uh, brake master cylinder. Make a quick work of, you know, bleeding brakes. This one's got green brake fluid in it, so we're gonna flush all that stuff out of there, do it real quick. Um, more or less doing it to get the brake fluid out of there, not to get the air out of it, but it does work, you know, after you change calipers and getting air out. Here's the set. Got it all sitting out here. Check it out. Shut up and sit down. Alright guys, so we already got the adapter out. That's everything that comes in the set here. It took, uh, for this Volvo we're working on, 2008 S60, I believe. Steve's helping me out. Got the uh, part number on that one is the MVA, what do we got? MVA 804 we're using. Shows it right there. It's nice, gives you a nice little list for it. But already threaded it on there. Fits perfect. Just pretty much take off the old one, thread on the new one on there. Make sure you got a nice sealed tight fit. This thing swivels, so I kind of angled that to get the other piece on there. Fill this thing up with brake fluid. The bottle here. Fill this up with the appropriate brake fluid we're going to use and see how this thing works. Set you guys up, get this thing filled up. Here's the little adapter that connects them together. This end's going to go to here. And then this end's going to go to the tool. All right, so basically the one end hooks up to the bottle. This end's going to hook up to the little adapter on the master cylinder. Pump it up and go from there. So it's my first time using this tool. Let's see what, uh, let's see what it's all about. See how this works out for us. All right, guys, so what we pretty much did is take the contaminated brake fluid out of the master cylinder so we could pretty much start fresh and then just pour the dot four into there. Now we're going to fill this thing up with dot four. Don't have to go too crazy because we're just pretty much getting everything out of the ABS unit and the lines. Like I said, it's not like an actual brake flush or we're not taking air out of it. We're just getting the green out of there. And whatever you don't reuse, you could obviously put back in the bottle. I'll just pour the rest of the stuff in here. So got that in there. Got that up because we'll probably be putting that stuff back in there. Seal this thing off. Check for leaks. Maybe tighten it a little more. There you go. You got to make sure the, the tank is completely tight. And then while he's doing that, it's got a little gauge on there. You can make sure it's building pressure and then check it for leaks everywhere. So we got pressure in it. We're all set up here. Pretty much you can see the fluid run through the line there. And once I start to crack this open, it starts to fill up the master. Are we still got pressure? Oh, yeah. So pretty much from here, just hang it. It's got a little hook on here. It's pretty nice. Try to hook it up there. Do that. And we just pretty much crack the bleeders. So we grab the camera here. Get this thing open. So we got pressure in it, it's open, it's filling the master cylinder, and then Steve's just gonna open it up. See if you can catch it. You can see it start to come out of there. I was expecting. Yeah, I was expecting it to shoot out too. Yeah. Yeah, I mean, it's got a steady drain to it. You know, if there's definitely air in there, it would definitely be pushing out the air. But maybe run that stuff through for a minute here. And then go off to the other side. We'll show you guys the other side. Maybe the other side will have pressure. So finished up this side. Let it run for a little bit and drain. Getting off to this side. Curious to see if this one comes out with pressure. It's the first time opening in this one. Got a nice stream here. There you go. Nice decent stream. So I guess that's kind of a good thing guys that it doesn't come out with a bunch of pressure maybe on this model you know running through the ABS module and all that stuff. This definitely would be pushing out the air if there's air in the system but uh, you know you get a nice solid stream. No one's got to pump up the brakes. You sit here and wait for all the air to come out or wait for the fluid to run clear. Get all the contaminated fluid out and pretty much done. Seal up the job. Empty the bottle back out and you're done. But Sit there and let this drain out and uh, 
clean this one up and we'll wrap this one up quick and easy all right guys so finished up bleeding the rears back up here up at the front just cleaning everything up a quick tip on these too is it's got a little check release valve on this tank basically when you're done you relieve most of the pressure from the tank close this thing off and it's still going to be filled with brake fluid but what I recommend is before you go pulling any connections or pulling the cap off or disconnecting it from the bottle relieve all the pressure from the bottle and then open this up and I noticed when I open this up it backwashed all the fluid back into the bottle for us so that way pretty much all the way to here so most of it's on this side now and it'll be easier to clean up you know when you disconnect it I don't know if these check balls hold the fluid in or having fluid stuck in the lines it brings it all back to the bottle so pretty much anything we didn't use I'll put back in and store it into the bottle so that's the quick cleanup on it so that's a wrap up guys the quick uh, quick tools in action on the mighty back the MVA 6850 seems like a legit tool definitely make quick work of it you know and I like you know I learned it as my first time using it I learned it as you guys seen it you know and using it for something like this just kind of flushing the brake fluid out as opposed to my first time using it like per se like on a full-blown brake job where I'm dealing with air in the system and all that stuff at least now I got the feel for the tank you know how much pressure to put in the tank how the tank works definitely make sure the bottle's super tight you gotta always check for leaks when you set up on it after you set up on the master cylinder just recheck your leaks um, when you're doing a brake flush take all the old contaminated brake fluid out of the master cylinder first that way you're not flushing all that stuff through there you might as well start off with the cleanest fluid possible but I can't wait to jump on this thing and use it for you know trans fills you know maybe uh, trans flushes power steering flushes however I'm going to use it you know anything that has a drain and I can set up with it it's definitely going to make quick work of so as always guys like comment subscribe catch you guys in the next one signing out